Budget is the most enticing entity for a common man. For it is all powerful to influence his life for another five or six years. Budget can bloom his dreams or can even nip them off. So what about the budget that has been out currently? And what all has it brought for the common man? A budget such that was never seen in the last hundred years is finally here. So what is there in this budget? For a middle class, come on, let's talk. What things will be cheaper for you and what will be dearer? Apart from this, what is there in this budget for business, startups, farmers and workers? Come, let's get to know all of these things in this video. There was a thing in this budget which had never been seen before. used to come in some physical paper form in a briefcase or a cutter. But this time, for the first time, budget came in the digital tablet. The word digital remained the keyword for the entire budget presentation. It was repeated again and again. But if we talk about what matters, then this time the government is going to throw a serious issue. The economic crush caused by COVID-19. Businesses were shut down and many jobs were lost and many to increase its expenditure to to revive the economy. money that is being spent by the government need to be transferred in the hands of the public or the economic burden. On the public shared by decreased so that people are able to save money more. If people are able to save more money, people would be able to spend more money. It would lead to greater circulation of money in the economy which wallet results in economic revival do this reason many people were expecting that the government would reduce the government would reduce the income tax this time but what did the government do Let's get know that Whatever middle pieces class would be applied. There were lots of discussions on social media about petrol and diesel such that petrol and diesel would become expensive. Because the government will apply this says for rupees 2.5 per liter on petrol. But the government says this will not make petrol and diesel diesel because simultaneously the government will reduce some other duties so the overall price will not be affected but there are some other things on which this says will be applied such as apples 35 percent less peas 30 percent less lentils 20 percent less chicken peas 20 percent less specific fertilizers such as urea will be charged with 5% extra cis. Crude soya bean and sunflower oil will be charged with 20% extra cis. Cotton 5% extra cis. In fact, cotton will also be leaved with additional customs duty. And cell phones might become dearer because custom duty on mobile parts and then Air conditioners, refrigerators will become dearer. Custom duty on automobile parts has also been increased up to 15%. It will result in them becoming dearer as well. Some leather products too will become dearer. The duty on solar investors has also been increased from 5% to 20% while it has been increased from 5% to 20%, whereas it has been increased from 5% to 15% for solar perspective, 
of a salaried common individual the first thing is that the government has not brought any changes to the income tax rates i told you one perspective that many people are expecting that the government would do this a lot of people wanted the government to do this but there is a different perspective to it as well many people believe that it is a good thing that the government has not bought any changes to it these experts say that if these rates keep on changing every year then it results in a lot of inconsistency people need to hire a ca to understand it and it results in an increase bracket if the income tax are kept stable and consistent then people would be able to learn it by themselves and it can be less of headache secondly for senior citizens who are 75 plus need not file any in case tax returns this does not mean that they will not pay any income tax no no this means they will not have to file their income tax sectors themselves their banks who transform the pension to them will deduct the tax before making the pension payout so they can basically say that less of filling income tax returns will potentially reduce for some people especially for people who do not know how to file income tax returns by themselves thirdly the government has introduced a new cess agriculture infrastructure and development cess due to there a lot of things on one side bigger. they argue that we are increasing the duties so that the imports came down and we will promote the self sufficiency of india which means atmanirbhar bharat by increasing the custom duties but on other hand friends if you try to make the items like solar inverts expensively deliberately and if good inverts won't won't be available in india then basically you are promoting to not use the renewable energy and overall it will not be a good thing for the climate change and similar arguments can be applied on the agricultural products with on which this says has been applied such as apple chill pear and lotus but a part of this what is cheaper nail products is cheaper with including iron copper gold silver and shoes because government has decreased the custom duties on this now items. let's come to the point of healthcare if we talk about the healthcare sector then the government has to increase the spending of the healthcare in a 2.2 lakh crore out of which 35000 crore has been allotted for covid-19 vaccines apart from this a new scheme has been launched by pm atmanirbhar swachh bharat yojan in a 64000 crores would be spent in next 6 years to improve the healthcare system and to and to build the new primary healthcare centers many government representative have claimed an increase of 137% in the healthcare budget replying to which opposition politicians have said that this is a misleading figure now you will ask me why so let me tell you friends Firstly, out of in a two point two crore, in a sixty four thousand crore that has been brought from the new scheme will not be spent in one year, rather than next six years. Secondly, Mr. Chidambaram says that thirty five thousand crore vaccination cost is one time. So this does not mean that the government has increased the healthcare budget every year. In fact he has even claimed that the government has also counted the allocation of the department of water and sanitization in this healthcare budget so according to mr chidambaram in reality 
the inner 72934 crore budget of the health care 2022-2021 has increased to inner 79602 crore this year so there is a slight increase which is a good thing but there isn't a big First, increase the government has launched the national hydrogen energy mission to promote hydrogen power simultaneously the government has also allocated in a 1500 crores to the renewable energy sector it is a super thing in my opinion friends because seaweed is a reason that can help fighting climate change it is not used as a food had seen that humans eat is used as an outside like outside leaves in subsiding it can also be used as lifestyle food to feed animals it also used as fertilizers it can also be used in beauty products in fact it is also helps in riverizing ocean acidification i already told you the benefits related to climate change it helps an observing carbon dioxide if there are several seaweed farms that are grown seaweed can also be used to make recyclable plastic consider it as wonder material these are so many benefits of seaweed by hard doing seaweed farming already in my opinion we are losing a lot of potential it is an important to promote such things that have so many advantages and thirdly for a deeper sea mission a mission that will research by going in the depths of the ocean of the government has allocated in a 4000 crores for it for the next 5 years it is quite an interesting and unique thing but unfortunately it is something that the government announced in 2018 and action has been taken on it now actually there are many such schemes that the government has announced in the last many budgets a lot of noise is made you get to see headlines such that the government is promising that promising this or so much money is being allocated here but after since but after since many years when you access the implementation of the scheme the nothing can be found one if it is budget example is 2015 Hundred smart cities. Now let's talk schemes. about farmers. What is there for farmers? The government has given assurance for the farmers that MSP will be continued at one point five times the cost of production. This is an important announcement, especially at a time when farmer protests are ongoing. Although I believe there isn't much to the promise, the promise will not yield much results because, like I've already told you in the old farm bills and farmer protest that how farmers will be able to avail the benefits of MSP. So here, the priority should be able to make the benefits of MSP available for as many to farmers the workers. as possible. If we talk about the gig workers, building and construction workers. then there's a good news for all of them for the first time the government has decided to provide portal that collects and relevants the information related to gig workers and like this is an unorganized sector if you don't know about gig workers so basically they are those people who work in companies like uber ola swiggy and zomato they work in taxi and delivery services they are not salaried employees Their source of income is totally based on the amount of work they do. For example, if they deliver something from one place to another, then they get some money. So not being employed and not being salaried in the organized sector has many pitfalls. The government decided to launch a portal to make this job more organized. This is not only for gig workers, but also for construction workers, building workers and migrant workers. With help from this they also get health insurance benefits they also get to participate in housing schemes credit schemes and food schemes so in my opinion this is very good for a lot of people simultaneously they'll also get the benefits of a nation when they move to the most controversial topic which is privatization the government has clearly showcased its intention in this budget 
that they want to privatize. This basically means that the government companies TSUs will be privatized. This is they will be sold off to private companies. A PSU is called a government company when the government stakes are more than 50%. If it has more than 50% stakes belonging to a private company, then you can consider it privatized and the government loss loses its control. The government has called it disinvestment and strategic sale in which many government companies such as BPCL, Air India, Shipping, Corporation of India, Container Corporation of India, IDBL Bank and BEML. As many government companies you can think of leaving aside four strategic sectors, the, the government has decided to privatize them. Today or tomorrow all these companies will be privatized. Now privatization is a controversial issue. On one hand a lot of people believe that it is a good thing to do. If the government privatizes these companies, then it will increase their efficiency and these companies will be better able to gain profit. But on the other hand, many people believe that capitalization means selling the companies to big ironic capitalists and giving away government assets in the hands of the private companies, which is not a good thing. Personally, I believe privatization is something which has its own advantages. Let us know if privatization is a good thing or a bad thing. But how successful is the government in privatizing? Yet to be seen. Because if you take the example of Air India, the government is trying to sell it since last three years. So there are such decisions plans in which political parties often keep switching. Let me tell you an instance. The government recently taken a decision to increase FDI in the insurance sector from 49% to 74%. But in 2013, BJP have strongly taken a stand that they would never let it happen. They would never let FDI into the insurance sector beyond 49%. Today, they are doing it themselves. Now, coming to business and startups, there is much good news for them too. For instance, the government has decided that the companies which have a turnover of INR 5 crores or less need not get their tax. Audited from a character accountant, this was the existing rule. Now the government has increased the limit INR 5 crores to INR 10 crores. So it is quite benefit for these companies that come under this range. It is less of a headache and they have to go through less of a hassle. It is been said that the definition of small business will also change. Till now the companies which have an annual turnover of INR 2 crores used to be called small businesses and small companies. But this limit is now being increased to INR 20 crores. Small business have many advantage in auditing and they have to do less bureaucracy and paperwork. The hospital schools are run by trust, did not have to file taxes up to INA 1 crore till now. But the government has increased the, this limit to INA 5 crores. In order to give startups more incentive, the government has also increased the eligibility for climbing to holding by one year that is to 3rd March 2022. For the one who don't know, 
tax holiday is the true period for a startup during which it does not have to pay any taxes usually it is the initial time period when the business is growing the government brings in schemes to promote startups such that they do not have to pay taxes for a certain time period or it is called tax holiday and you can say that it is one reason why stock market and sensex broke record broke records the budget released it only climbed up apart from this would like to tell you some things that to found unique innovative in this budget yes, thank the you has launched the national hydrogen energy mission to promote hydrogen power simultaneously the government has also allocated in 1500 crores to the renewable energy sector it is a super thing in my opinion friends because seaweed is a reason that can help fight climate change it is not used as food hcm the human seed it is used as an outside cover in sushi out it can also be used as livestock feed to feed the animals it also used as a fertilizers it can also be used in beauty products in fact it is also helps in riverizing ocean acidification i already told you the benefits related to climate change it helps in absorbing carbon dioxide if there are several seaweed for us that are that are grown seaweed can also be used to make recyclable plastic cuisiner it it is a wonder material there are so many benefits of seaweed but how doing seaweed farming already in my opinion we are losing a lot of potential it is important to promote such things that have so many advantages and thirdly for a deep sea mission a mission that will research by going in the depths of the ocean to the government has allocated in 4000 crores for it for the next 5 years it is quite an interesting and unique thing but unfortunately it is something that the government announced in 2018 and action has taken now actually there are many such schemes that the government has announced in the lot many benefits a lot of nice noise is made you get to see headlines such such that the government is pronouncing there or so much money is being allocated here but after some years when you access the implementation of scheme then nothing can be found one of its biggest example is 2015's 100 smart city scheme the fourth innovative thing that is found in this new budget plan is the vehicle scrapping policies that have been announced in this in, in the new budget a policy to phrase out old vehicles we all know that the entire country is having so many vehicles that have no pollution check as to how much pollution they spread there are no, they don't have any safety standards they have turned in junk on top of it all people have no way out as to what to do with old vehicles although the government hasn't revealed the details of this policy but it is being said that every vehicle will have to go through a fitness test at an automated fitness center every 20 years for personal vehicles and every 15 years for commercial vehicles people will be eligibly given an option to recycle old vehicles such that people go and deposit their old vehicles and take away the incentive in return such that you are getting this benefits of buying a new car which have a better safety standards hopefully the new vehicles people will buy after this scheme is implemented with a with will be electric cars due to this very reason friends to share of auto companies 
have also gone up after this budget in 2021. The government gave you an option in the last budget to either follow the new tax regime or the old one. Which is more beneficial to you? And which one helps you save more money? To know this, you can go with Quera app, which helps you make a great tax calculator. Small decisions are taken here. It doesn't affect anything much. But no big decisions also mean no big bad news. And if no bad news, then it is good news only. You know what? The best politicians are those politicians when you feel that they haven't done any work in their term. Five years go by and you don't realize what these politicians did. What difference did they make in your life? They turn out to be best politicians. This is the same thing often said about Obama. The positive aspects of budget 2021 are private participation in LIC, railways and public sector banks. Corporate farming through long-term leases to improve the productive and profitability of the farm sector. A comprehensive vision for integrating rural development. Health care in PPP mode. Permitting commercialization needed in the education and training sector and permitting FDI and ECB and admission that education in humanities stream is mostly unproductive and and allowing online degree courses, the exploitation of ideal farm and railway land for solar energy production, unleashing power sector to grow like the telecom sector did in past 15 years, prepaid metering and probability of service provider. Cons of budget. Yeah, now let us know about cons of budget 2021 and 22. The tax structure for individual taxpayers has been made more complicated contrary to the promise of simplification. It is the sixth straight budget that talks about eliminating tax terrorism. The finance ministers admit year after year that tax terrorism is a reality and it is hindering growth. So far, there is a little delivery on the promise of eliminating this undue harassment of taxpayers. Rather, each new promise further erodes the credibility of government. The allocation of resources to critical sectors like health education, rural development is not commensurate with the statement of the intent made in the first part of the budget speech. The reluctance of temporarily suspend FRBM application is perplexing the resource constraint is too cautious. The benefits of additional spending on the reforms agenda are well defined. The benefits of violating FRBM targets. If the reform agenda as outlined the economy survive and budget speech is religiously implemented would outweigh the cost in the short term. The economy wanted more money in consumers' hands. The method minister has.